Hey guys, I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I did a bunch of yard work again. Uh, it seems like I do that every weekend, right? We better have the best yard on the house after this pandemic's over because that is all we've been doing. <laughs> we better have the best yard. Um, we pretty much just dug up a ton of stuff and now um, we're getting really close to putting in all this stone and um, we're gonna get some more bushes and might do a different walkway. So it's gonna look a lot different, I can't wait. But I have a little exercise for you today. And um, it's really quick, it won't take very long. So we all are very familiar with trying to hit our goals and we just can't do it no matter what, no matter how easy it is to do the goals. Um, oh, hi mom. <laughs> how, <laughs> hi mom. <laughs> Um, no matter how easy our goals is and how, even if we know the steps, we'd keep falling back into our old habits. And we all know that even if we're getting to our goals and we're seeing success, we still fall back into our old habits, thinking it wasn't working, but it was. So I want you to take a step back and just think for a second. Um, this is going to be a quick exercise. This is part of my first step in my tiny shift strategy. And um, I want you to get a piece of paper and pen. If you don't, I don't think it's gonna work. It won't have a full impact on you. And if you don't do that right now, I encourage you to come back to this video some other time, maybe in the morning when it's quiet and there's no distractions and to do this quick exercise. But first, I want you to think about that goal that you wanna achieve. Um, I think about the why behind it, like why you really want this goal. So if it's like you wanna lose 50 pounds to fit in your skinny jeans, that's not gonna be your why. It's not really gonna motivate you enough to even get to your goal. So, <laughs> hi Susie. <laughs> so, um, I'm distracted now. <laughs> yeah, so a good example would be you wanna lose, your, you wanna lose 50 pounds to Feel energized again so that you can do different activities that you're not able to do right now or to be able to play with your kids or grandkids. Um, then I want you to write down some bullets under your why saying getting more of that vision like what were your mornings look like now that you have lost 50 pounds and you have more energy and more motivation throughout the day. What were your mornings look like? How will you feel after you're done with those activities? that you are now able to do? Or how is it gonna impact your family and friends that are close to you? How are they gonna feel now that you are probably a happier version of yourself? And maybe it's not about losing weight or anything. Uh, maybe it's that you wanna find a better job or do kind of start a side gig so you can travel more. Think about where you're gonna travel, where are those places that you're gonna go see while you're traveling. How's that gonna impact your friends and family? Are they gonna be traveling with you? So I want you to really think about what your life is going to look like now that you lost 50 pounds. And we normally don't do this when we're focusing on a goal. We're just trying to get to a certain destination, but we don't know what our life is gonna look like. Um, so once you have that, and you'll know you have your why when you feel the emotion behind it. Then the second part, I want you to write down, what if you quit? So, and I have a point to this, and I'll tell you what it is <laughs> when we're done. But what if you quit? Because you've tried too many times and you can't make it, or you just don't feel like you are strong enough of a person, or you don't have enough time to start a new business. Um, so you're just gonna wait until you have time or wait till you feel better. Because I can tell you right now, like if you keep saying, well, I'll start next week or I'll start Monday or I'll start when I feel better, you're never going to start. Because look back at all the years you've been saying that so far. So I want you to write down what, what your life will look like if you just stay in the state of just keep wondering or keep saying, well, I'll start then or I should do this, but it won't happen. And then, so you have your, your why, what your life will look like when you hit your goal. And then you'll have written down a bullet list of what your life will look like if you don't hit your goal and you just quit. And now you're like, why am I doing this? Um, well, what you may be noticing if you're actually writing this down and getting into your why 
and what if you quit, you may notice something shifting in your brain. And um, one of the strongest reactions in our brain is loss evasion. So when we focus on what we're losing and knowing that we're gonna lose something important to us, it's gonna motivate us. So now you have motivation because we're always looking at the good outcome that's a pretty picture and that's not, it's kind of foreign to us still, so we're not motivated to even get there, even though we know how. Um, when, when you're doing this, fear is actually not fully going away, like that feeling of doubt or fear or uncertainty, but it is taking a back seat. And what it, when it's in the back seat, you have space and openness in that moment to be able to get motivated again. So studies, act, <laughs> studies show that I can, <laughs> you may relate to this because I can. When you lose a $5 bill, it has more of an impact on you opposed to when you find one. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's so true. Like I hate losing a dollar. It's just annoying, but I find a dollar. I'm like, woohoo. Um, so if you didn't write this down, um, I want you to because it will work. And it's even better when you know you have no distractions or you're doing it in the early morning. Um, maybe do it while you're doing a free write because then you'll notice a few things. They may pop up of um, things you didn't even think about. Like, oh, my life would be like this if I got my goal. And that could, that could motivate you right there too on its own. But um, yeah, you can IM me or Type some questions in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll let you guys have a good rest of your Sunday evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.